I am sure sports. You know me there, I'm coach to coach representing. I mean, I said this is right as representing for Omar. You don't know, come get the sports over here from near and far. Oh, boy, boy, boy. Me say, I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over air. Come subscribe, repost, and share. I am sure sports, one thing me sure about. When me say sure, that me, me not doubt. Come get your sports, get it over air. Come subscribe, repost, and share. Yeah, share. If me not sure, that me, me not say it. No who score, that me, me, me not say it. Never know no game play, that me, me, me not say it. If me never seen a game, me know who play. For your sports news, better come over your son. For your soccer news, then come over your son. If you don't love sports, still come over your for the day, don't you want to love over your son? So, so, when it comes on to behavior concerning football, Jamaica is, is decent. I am sure that if we can get all of these things done, set in place by the end of April, it gives us enough time before the World Cup campaign. Not afraid of no Brazil, no Argentina with these crap of players. We are good enough. Remember to like, subscribe, 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 share. Listen, comment, let me know what your thoughts are. Trick Mick Jerk Marinade gives your meats and vegetables authentic Jamaican jerk flavor. The spices are directly from Jamaica. Spices like jerk seasoning, allspice, scotch bonnet pepper, fresh scallions, thyme, ginger, and garlic. The key ingredients to a great jerk marinade. 0% sugar and low in sodium. You want to try it? Made up of 18 Jamaican herbs and spices. Add delicious, bold flavor to your next grilling experience. Flavoring sauce, a marinade, basting, condiment, or topping. Trick Nick Jerk Barbecue Sauce. All right, all right. Good evening. Welcome to I Am Sure Sports. Hope you're doing well. It is going to be a big one, right? We generally don't have so many shows in a day. This is our third show for the day. All right, our third show for the day. And I promise you that it's going to be worth it. All right, if you missed any one of the earlier shows that we did, you need to watch them, especially that second one where we had one cataract on it. Um, there are many clippable moments in that one, I am telling you, many, many clippable moments. But just to let you know, um, we'll be having Tavon Gray. We'll be talking to him, um, uh, New York City FC. That's where he's at right now in the MLS, um, major part of the, the team there. Um, twin, he is, right, um, can represent Jamaica, has a Jamaican citizenship and a passport right um yeah he also captained um the usa team at on the 17 level um but he's ready to represent the reggae boys we are going to talk to him we're going to hear about how this all started for him and how did he get to this place and you know what is in store for him in terms of his career and um you know what dreams he has and um his thoughts about jamaica's football um, so we encourage you to be a part of this discussion with us, all right? Uh, just to give you some score update, at present, Cavaliers, Cavaliers are leading, I think, AC Porta Spain by a goal to nil at Sabina Park in Caribbean Club Championship. Cavaliers getting a very early goal there in the latter part of the this the first half there they came under a lot of pressure but they were able to withstand it and i'm telling you cavaliers is one of those teams that i'm very very proud of um just because this team um they are older and better players king um busy anderson webster they have all left cavaliers and moved on with their career 
but still Cavaliers continue to reproduce good young talent and to compete. They are playing against players who have represented Trinidad and Tobago in international games and they are competing with them, they are leading them. And so kudos to the, the youngsters at Cavaliers and the management team and the coach out there at Cavaliers. I have to do that because I know there's lots of improvement in our local league, but things are when our teams perform this way, we have to give commendations to them and those who are responsible for organizing and setting them up. So JPL, Mr. Christopher Williams, Owen Hill, and the rest of you, um, coaches and players continue to make um, moves and strides into into you know just just growing the game because we can see from this competition that it is it is paying off. There is growth, there is improvement. Like I said, the teams are performing better, and that is always 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 good. So. Come on in early, you know the regular drill. We don't stop our program to say, hit the like button, subscribe, share. We don't do that. What we do right off the bat, we say to you, listen, once you come on, make sure that you subscribe, you like, you share, right? Just do that, support the channel. We presently, um, we presently don't have uh, the super chat and the super sticker feature. So sometimes some of you may ask, how can I support the channel? There is a way that you can do that. You can do that using the Zelle, uh, the Zelle uh, app or way of transfer. And that's pretty easy to use. Um, um, it doesn't take long. It's not complicated. So if you desire, that's one way you can contribute to the platform as we anticipate um, working on things to be able to do super stickers and super chats again all right um so are you ready are you ready for the big one this is a big one you know um i'm definitely definitely excited about this one looking forward to talking to this young player are you aware of him though how many of you know there's a lot of you that um that follow um the players the reggae boy so have you been following tavon gray uh, if you have not, when you hear this story, you're going to be following him. Trust me. All right. Um, let, let's talk to him and see, you know, what he he has to offer to the, the reggae boys. If called up and when called up, what he brings to the table. You understand me? So we go help you to get familiar with him. At, at some point, we'll allow you to ask some questions so that, you know, he can he can answer you. And, and and give you his thoughts all right um the second the second half is about uh about to start in the cavaliers game and so what i'll do i'll give you updates um time to time as to what is happening in that in that in that club championship so you can you can you're not missing anything but the game is on um uh, again, Cavaliers leading by a goal to nil. I won't delay this any further because the most important person on the show today is here. And it is it is not me. Right? It is not me. So, um, yeah, so let's welcome. Let's welcome. None other than Mr. None other than Mr. <laughs> Tavon uh, Gray. All right. Here is live and in living colors. Tavon, welcome to I Am Sure Sports. Welcome to Virtual Jamaica. Welcome to the space. Good to have you on. Um, good evening. How you doing? Good, good. Good to have you. Good to be here. Good to be here. Wonderful, wonderful. All right. Um, tell the people a little bit about you. Tell them your name, your age. Ah, that, you're a twin, right? Yeah, I'm a twin. So you have bigger and little. In Jamaica, twins are bigger and little, you know. So you have to tell <laughs> them if you're, if you're bigger or little. You understand? We go ahead and tell them a little bit about you and about your family and your parents, your, your parents and stuff. Go ahead. Okay, uh, well, my name is Tavon Gray. Uh, 
I played for New York City FC, MLS. Uh, I'm 21 years old, and yeah, I'm a, I'm a twin. <laughs> uh, my name is, like I said, Tavon, and my, my brother's name is Kayvon. Uh, yeah, my parents uh, were born and raised in Jamaica. Well, they probably left uh, young age, probably like 10, both of them, I'd say, and came to New York. You know, I was born in the Bronx. So, yeah, that's a little bit about me. Oh, so born in the Bronx. When did you actually start playing football, or when did you know that you could actually play football? Like, really good, like, at what point, you know, you know, of your development, you said, whoa, you know that I can act, I'm very good. Uh, I must say, I had, I had two, um, two moments like that in my life. Uh, I must say when I was probably super young, just because I was, like, physically better than the majority of the kids at my age at the time, probably, like, six, seven, eight, faster, stronger, that type of stuff, so... I think then uh, uh, I felt like a little confidence and stuff like that, like, yeah, I could, I could do it. Uh, my dad encouraged me a lot. My family played ball a lot. Like, it just ran in my blood, really. Uh, my dad played ball in England. He played for Southern United for a year. Um, so, so yeah, it just, just kind of ran in my veins. And uh, I'd say another time, um, as I got older, uh, I really felt that I was uh, above the rest. But there was definitely like a, a drop in between. So I'd say when I was younger, I was absolutely like physically outstanding, better than the majority of the kids. And uh, then I hit like a spot where kids were catching up to me physically just as fast, if not faster, stronger, bigger. And uh, I'm just like stuck at that point. And but, like that point was a time where it's like, I don't know, I don't know. But I just continued to work hard. And then I, I got that feeling again that I felt when I was younger. And then I just I just ran with it. OK, so did, did you grow up in an academy system or you went to like you played in high school and uh, went no. on to college and got drafted? Or how, how, how did your career progress in terms uh, of, you know, playing football in the USA? A so, soccer, yeah. So I played. I played. <laughs> he said soccer. <laughs> <laughs> I played. Uh, like I said, I grew up in the Bronx. I played for Bronx youth. Um, me and my brother. That's where I started at a park called the Valley. Um, so yeah, uh, I went from there to a team in New Jersey, uh, SDFC Soccer Domain Football Club, and I was probably like ten. I want to see no probably like eight to ten that was my that was when i really got into like 11 v 11 and stuff like that proper proper game structure and stuff like that um then after that i went on to go to see the stars another team in new jersey and then there i was probably like my peak that's when i got like call-ups to the like national team and stuff like that and uh but i'd say i was pretty yeah i was pretty that was my best moment as, as my childhood for sure when I went to see the stars um then after see the stars I went to New York City FC and then from New York City FC Academy they just signed me after the under 17 World Cup so okay I had oh. the opportunity for the college but I was just I knew what I wanted to do so I didn't even think twice oh. so, so so you you actually got called up for the USA under 17 team qualified yeah. was a captain and you went to the under 17 world cup with the usa team yeah and you were the captain as well yeah okay so go ahead and tell us about that well that's that's amazing so let me just ask you when you were called up for the us was there any inclination any call up from jamaica at that point in the qualifiers or it was just at that time the usa was the team that reached out and so you just took it you know with both hands and went on yeah, at the time, I feel like USA was around me since I was very young. Probably like, I think like my first camp was probably like 11. So Whoa. I didn't do the system, you know. So, yeah. yeah. So so you played in the qualifiers. Tell us yeah. about the qualifiers. This is the under-17 qualifiers for the World Cup with the USA, and you were the captain. Yeah, I captained a few games. 
was it was um Kevin on the team as well or part of it or by this time he was um yeah he got injured injured right right yeah all right so tell us about that tell us about the qualifiers what was that like um playing in the qualifiers um trying to remember which uh teams we had played for the qualifiers we played canada i know that we played i believe barbados and it was another team not jamaica though no not jamaica. <laughs> i never never played against jamaica never I was, that was always running through my mind still the way <laughs> like like what would it be like to play against jamaica <laughs> never got the chance uh i feel like they i feel like i got i got a little bit of the jamaican style in my blood you know fast and stuff like that strong physically you know what i'm saying so yeah i think it would have been a good matchup i'm always looking forward to something like that but uh, i never got the opportunity to play jamaica okay so but, the usa qualified you went on to the world cup the under 17 world cup you're the captain what position were you playing as you captain the team was it still right wing was it right wing back or was it right no, Sorry, I played, center back in the back. I played, center half. I played center back in the World Cup. Oh, you actually played center back in the World Cup? Yeah. Oh, so is that your preferred position, center back? Yeah. That's your preferred position? I think that's my best position. <laughs> so, yeah. so how come you're playing right, right wing back now? Because when I first came, when I signed for NYCFC, I was, uh, I was 17. So I signed right after the World Cup. So... When I came into the team, there was already four center backs, I believe, at the time, and there was only there was only one right back. So, coach saw my potential and was like, "I'm fast and stuff, so I'm just gonna try you on the on the wing." So I was like, "All right, uh, all right, I've I've I played it before, you know. Coaches know I'm I like one v one, I like the challenge and stuff like that. So it wasn't too it wasn't too much of a change, you know. I played right center back." I played beside the right back the whole my whole life, so it's only normal. It's only natural for me that I should know how to play it. So I started playing there, and I, I thought at the time I thought that was the best place for me to get the opportunity to even sh showcase my talent. So I wasn't gonna fight with four center backs to play yes. when I could fight with one right back to play. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm Ooh, just so, gonna establish myself into the team. At this yeah, time. that this this was the 2019. Youth yeah. World Cup, right? Yeah. And it was no, in Brazil. It was 2019? Yeah, 2019. Yeah, it was 2019, right? Because you didn't get to play U20 yeah. because of the pandemic. Yeah, because of the COVID. Right. Yeah. So so U19, you played in the World Cup in Brazil. Yeah, in Brazil. In Brazil. All right. So tell us about that. Who was in your zone? How did you perform? How did the team do? Ah, uh, yeah, to be honest, that team was was that team was very good that usa team we had i'm pretty sure everybody was pretty much i think i was one of the players that weren't professional at the time weren't professional at the time um uh yeah i think i was maybe one maybe me alone that wasn't professional so we had a oh very, very good team i think i was i was negotiating my deal around that time um, but yeah, I think I was the only one that wasn't really signed to no contract. Everybody else was signed to MLS team or Europe or wherever they were. But um, first game played against Senegal, and uh, we scored the first goal, I believe. Yeah, we scored the first goal, and uh, we lost, I think, three or four one. Yeah, I got a red card in that game. <laughs> Yeah, first, first World Cup game, I got a red card. Oh, what, what up? I mean, was it was it a legit red card or the referee made a mistake as usual? No, nah, it was it was a red card. I was like, I was last man, and I, like I didn't really jump for the. I'm playing center half, so center back. So the ball came over my head, and I didn't really jump for it. And then I was like in the middle, and I let it bounce, and the guy ran off on it. But I, I like I ran. And he cut across me. And remember, I'm last man. So he, when he cut across me, I didn't do, I didn't touch him. Like I eased up. But as soon as, as soon as I ran across him, of course he just went down. And I'm last man. So the ref just gave me a red. But I thought I played. I thought I played. I thought I was playing well before the red card. I thought I was playing well. 
Okay, okay. Yeah. All right. So, 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 okay. So you got a red card in the first game. You didn't play in the second game, but you played in the third game. Yeah, we didn't play. Oh. Against, uh, second game was Japan. I didn't play against Japan. I was just watching. Okay. And mm -hmm. um, the, th the third game? Yeah, the third game we played against Netherlands. Wow. That team was crazy. I can't lie. Netherlands is a very good team for sure. And you lost that game as well? Yeah, we lost that game as well. We lost that game. I don't think we scored that game. Yeah, I think we lost like 3 0. Okay, you, you remember any other players playing for the Netherlands who probably have moved on in their career now um, in that World Cup that you played in from the other teams? I remember one player, uh, his name was Jaden Braff. He played for, um, he used to play for Man City. I don't remember, I don't know where he's at now. I think in like Italy or something like that, but he was the player that, that was, we had like a friendly, like early in the year before the, um, the World Cup. And I played against the same kid, and that's where I played right back for the first time, because they knew that the kid was good, left wing, whatever. So they was like, you know what, we're gonna try put Tavon on the wing since he's good. That's actually one of the first times I played right back on that okay. team against that player. So I I knew him very well. Yeah. So who are some of the players now? Who are some of the standout players on your USA team outside of you? Um. Okay, you said all of them probably with exception yeah. of you and probably a few others were signed professional. Nah, signed all of them, all of them, not nah, all of them. Oh. Yeah, um, pretty much everybody I know. On my team, New York City FC, we have uh, Andreas Jason. Um, he scored yesterday for us in our game against us. Uh, he was part of the under 17 as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, Gio Reyna plays for Dortmund. Um, John oh, Gio Reyna was on that under seventeen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, John Luca Busio, George Bell. Busio. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all those guys. We had. Uh, who else did we have? Um, we had Kobe Hernandez. I believe he's playing like in Norway or something like that. But pretty much, pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Hey, Joe Scally. Joe Scally. He played. He was playing. Uh, he was playing right back, and I was playing center back. Joe Scally plays for uh, Gladbach. There. Yeah, and and somebody said Jaden Braff plays for Hellas Verona in Syria in Italy. Yeah, yeah. I know Italy. And, and then you see the, the Jamaican fan base. I know they said that um Ricardo Pepe was on the team yeah. too. Yeah, Ricardo. that was a big team. McKinney was, was on it. McKinney was on it. Hey, it was a no, no. McKinney wasn't on it. McKinney's older. Okay, okay. But, Ricardo Pepe, yeah, he played center for. They scored against us in a couple of Gold Cups ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's my boys for sure. Um. But yeah, we had like I said, we had that's why I said we had a pretty good we had a pretty good team, man. The tournament just didn't go our way. I think if if those players got it again and played again, it would be very different. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. If you had not gotten the red card, maybe you, you... <laughs> I got well, the red card. I got the red card. We was I think down I think we were down three one when I got the red card. Yeah, I need to check some of the names of the Senegal players. Oh, yeah, I believe one of them went to France. One of them playing League One. I don't remember. The one that he scored, the one that I, I like, I, where I found the guy, he scored like a 40 yard free kick. It was crazy. I remember I came off the field, and right after I came off the field, the referees like told me, like, come over here, they're going to drug test me or whatever. You know, they have like, <laughs> yeah. the, you know, they have like the anonymous drug test stuff. So they just called me over. As soon as I got the red card, you come with us. <laughs> as soon I as I got the red card, they got drug tested. <laughs> Uh, why? <laughs> I just pick me. I just, I just remember hearing like while I'm doing the jump. Remember hearing the crowd out there saying, uh, go. Say, I'm like, I'm like, they scored again. I'm like, no way. Oh, somebody sent his pop, um, Pape, um, Manasar, Senegal was there. Uh -huh. Tottenham asked for unloan, unloan to Mets. Oh, maybe that's. I'm not sure of his name. Yeah, because. Sure. No, he, he's back at Tottenham, though, though. Sorry, he's back at Tottenham, Dwight. He's back at Tottenham this season and scored already. Tall, very good. He kicks the ball from far, if it is the same player. I don't know. But, yeah. yeah. He scored it from far free kick. Far. <laughs> yeah. All right, just for those who want to know, Cavalier is leading by two goals to nil. Christopher Ainsworth, one of the teenagers, scoring for them. All right, cool. So, you finished that World Cup right after the World Cup. You signed to New York City FC. Um, 
I mean, how happy were you? Was that the best offer you had? The only offer you had, or that is the one you, you thought, like, given all the options you had, this would have been the one to take up. Um, and you're a New York City man. I mean, is that like <laughs> my, my first team I play for should be a New York team? And then, how did that? How how was that for you? Uh, yeah, obviously it's a good moment, you know, playing for your hometown team. Uh, I think it don't get nothing. It don't get better than that, to be honest. Uh, but yeah, I was excited, and yeah, there was other teams there. Um, I think that was the best decision for me for sure. Okay. All right, so now you played under 17 for the U.S., though your mother and your father were born, grew up in Jamaica for part of your life, moved to New York. But were you familiar with Jamaica? Were you tracking things? Do you come back to Jamaica? Or are you just a New York, you know, no, a brand no. you to do? <laughs> understand me? Do, you know? <laughs> no, no, I go to Jamaica all the time. Uh, I go to Jamaica majority every December. I go to Jamaica. Okay. All yeah. right. So now, no, I mean, you're a captain. You're a captain of the USA. Um, when did you, you know, start having an interest in in representing Jamaica? Um, I feel like there was always, like you asked me before, have you ever played Jamaica when I was younger? I feel like there was always that in my mind because I knew I could play for them. So I feel like it was just always in the back of my head. Uh, I just feel like the opportunity came at the right time. So I'm just going to take it. Yeah, so you, you 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 got your Jamaican citizenship and passport. Yeah, yeah. So so let me tell. I mean, that means you have been watching the Jamaican team. I mean, what are your thoughts on the team? You know, you hear the Ethan Pinnock, the Andre Blake, who is in the MLS with you, yeah. um, Corey Burke in the MLS, uh, Kevin Lambert just got transferred to Real Salt Lake, doing in different conferences. Oh yeah, yeah. I see that. Yeah, but Corey Corey Burke plays for the other New York team. Yeah. Um, so you have Damian Lowe um, at Philadelphia with Andre Blake. Um, and then you have some other guy. You have uh, Javien Brown who plays for Vancouver as well. I mean, um, so, 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 so my question, uh, oh, this is Butters. Butters, Butters, Butters um, says, big up the baller from Memorial Field Days to, to Manastar, right? Mm -hmm. um, uh, do you know Memorial Field? <laughs> um. No, you're gonna have to describe it to me. Oh, oh, I don't know. Yeah, but um, tell me, yeah, like, you know, uh, how how do you, uh, what do you know about the Jamaican team? What do you think of this present crop of Jamaican players with the Ethan Pinnox and the uh, Mikel Antonio, Demarai Gray, Leon Bailey, all of these names plus the MLS players? What are your thoughts on the team? I think the team is. I think those names really talk for themselves. I think they're all stars of themselves you know i think they just need to work together and yeah bring home a trophy i think okay. if that is that straightforward i think they have a brilliant team <laughs> i mean i mean what do you think you, you bring um oh see see a lot of people know you man big up Stephen <laughs> from allerton ball field yeah, that I know. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lot of fans out there. Uh, yeah, but so, so tell me, like, I mean, what, what, do you, if, if call up to represent, like, tell me, you know, what do you bring to to either right side of center back or to um, um, wing, right wing back? Like, and where do you see yourself fitting in? Is it wherever? Or you'd love to come in as a right wing back, a right centre back. How do you see you fit in? Yeah. Oh, but as he said that he's talking about Sanford Boulevard Field, where his dad used to bring him and his next brother. Sanford Boulevard Field. Sanford Boulevard Field. So your dad used to bring us here with your younger brother. Maybe you're a kid and you don't remember. <laughs> no, I don't remember yet. Don't remember. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, Back to your question. Uh, for me personally, as wherever the coach wants me, I'm, I'm more than happy to play there. That I'm, I'm that type of that type of guy. Uh, I bring, uh, I work hard, um, I defend well, and uh, I'm a confident player. I think I bring confidence to the team. Uh, yeah, I'm a team player. So yeah, that's what I can say. What What do you think are like? The strongest as a, as a defensive player, like what do they say are your your strengths? I'm gonna say my strength is uh, 
my work ethic, I'd say simply running, one v one, defending. Um, I think that's my my transition. I think that's my best attribute. Okay. And um, before the game says you're an MLS champion at a very early age, <laughs> yeah. and, and he wants to know what was that experience like? Uh, to be honest, it was it was it was crazy. Um, it didn't really settle into me still till like the next following year. Um, or yeah, the next following year, it didn't really settle until then. To be honest, we had like a party and stuff like that. I got the rings and stuff like that. It was honestly an amazing experience. You know, we went to the city in Manhattan, and uh, we got like. The mayor gave us keys. It was actually pretty sick. Uh, never thought it would have been like that. <laughs> and like you said, it was a young age. You know, like when we won, I'm like, I'm like, did we just win? Like, look at around. You're, you're what, 17, 18, 18 when you won? I was 19. 19, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18. okay. Yeah. Were you, and did you play in, in, did you play that season? Um. So what happened was, um, this, this was my second season, I believe. Yeah. Right, because you signed after the World Cup at 17 going to 18, and then so when you were 19, yeah, 18 going to 19 would have been your second season, yeah. Yeah, so um, I was playing, I played a little bit. Um, my first year, I didn't play. So my whole first year, I didn't make my, I didn't make my debut until my, my second season. So I played in like April, and the championship game was played in December. So I made my debut in April, and then... Um, my right back on my team had got hurt. Like, I want to say, like, 12, 13 games before, before the, uh, before the, the end of the season. Yeah, before the end of, I want to say, like, including the playoffs game. So I'm not, he missed, like, the last, I played, played, like, the last five games, the last five games of the season. And then I played the whole playoffs because he got hurt. And oh, you I, started in the, uh, in, in the playoffs? Yeah, I played the whole thing. Okay, okay, and I mean, what was that? I mean, coming on, coming, you know, into a team vying for the championship at that point was it difficult for you? And how did you cope? I mean, cope with that? I mean, uh, for me, for me, I'm, uh, I'm very, uh, I say, I'm, a, I'm a confident player, so I feel like I'll just wait for the opportunity and then I take it. I don't really have no excuses about when it was or how it came about but whenever i get the chance i just kind of take it yeah i mean there are so many questions coming in so uh, you, you may see me moving from one thing to the other but that is because i don't want the comments the questions to go because i mean so many per persons watching you we have over 106 per well over 100 persons on the live right now and um, but as he's saying he's just to remind you he's saying that it is he's talking about in mount vernon Oh, wait, it was wait. baby days. Now, now I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Mount Vernon. Yeah, right. now, he <laughs> said, now he said the proper place, so now I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Salford Boulevard is not a proper place. Mount Vernon. No, for me to know, for me to know, I'm not going to remember Sanford Boulevard. I'm not going to remember that, especially as a kid. I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. Then, then they're trying to find out where in Jamaica your parents are from. Like, uh, my dad, my dad is from Gregory Park, Portmore, and uh, oh, Gregory Park in Portmore. Okay. My dad is from, and my mom is from um, Saint Elizabeth. Saint Elizabeth. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Jason says that he play. You played the entire, entire player front, and that is when he started watching. Um, you play because many persons, of of course, many people will see players that they probably never know that. Tavon would, you know, because they probably saw you under 17, so nobody would really know that one day you'd, yeah, yeah, sure. you'd, re you'd represent Jamaica. I see Christopher Wright also says, I watch at most, I watch most home games, man, is because my son academy team goes to their home game, Central Brooklyn Soccer Club, and he's saying that you're solid, um, <laughs> um, for real, yeah, yeah, all right, so. Yeah, just to let the people know who are watching that the, the, the Trinidad team, they have just scored once it is 2-1 Cavaliers leading, right? And um, Dwight is saying that you won both the MLS Cup and the Champions Cup. Cup, right? Yeah. Both of those at 19. Yeah. 
how is the team doing now? And I mean, are you still a regular starter since you, you made a de debut, had that whole leading up to the championship playing? Um, yeah. Um, yeah. I think, I think yeah, I'm a, I'm a starter. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it's been a, it's been a good, for me personally, it's been a, I'd say it's been a decent run, of course. My, my team ain't doing too well this year, but we on the, we just got a win yesterday. So we have, um, I think four more home games, uh, before we go away. I think we, our away game is Miami. We play Miami away, but every other game is pretty much home. So, Lionel Messi. Yeah. <laughs> you looking forward to that? Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. <laughs> hey, I need to watch that game. You need to give me the day, right? Inter Miami <laughs> versus. Yeah. Yeah, when is it? September 30th. Oh, September 13th. That is that is the day after Jamaica plays Haiti. September 30th. 30th. Oh, thir 30th or 13th? Yeah. No, 3 0. Three zero. Oh, oh, oh! End of the month. Okay, so you'll you'll probably be there. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, uh, that that's interesting. That's interesting. That, that's a good one to watch. None of the Jamaicans have managed to to get any points of Inter Miami yet. You know, Blake lost to them. I think in the the yeah. goal, Andre Blake yeah, lost yeah. to them. Um, you know, uh, I think Damian lost to them uh, as well. But um, let let me know. Tell me, because he's on that same team. I mean, have you played against any of the Jamaicans? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I played against Bert, um, Bert Corey Bert. Uh, yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, I played oh. against Low, uh, played against Blake. Uh, who else was there? I played against um, JVR Brown. Uh, who else was in the league? Um, I played, ah, um, oh, dang, I forgot his name. I, I got his jersey. Uh, Fisher? No, I never played against Fisher. Um, I played against Kamar Lawrence. Uh, um, I got his jersey. He's played for DC. He's like a light skinned brother from England. I don't remember. I don't remember. His Ravel. Name. Ravel. Ravel. Ravel Morrison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, you played against Ravel. Okay, yeah. cool. So, which one of those games you remember the most? Like, yo, like, was it, yo, this you good still? Are uh, yo, you understand me? Yo, we'll put some tackle on this one, Kerber. What was <laughs> I had said something to I had said something to Blake about uh about the outcome of the game, but I can't too say too much on that. But he, he got me. <laughs> he got me on that day. Who Corey? Blake, Blake. Oh, oh Blake. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. But but do you talk to the do you talk to the other Jamaicans who play there though? Do you do you have conversation with them? Did you talk to them about your interest in representing Jamaica one day and stuff? Yeah, like Andre Blake even being the captain and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, he gave me I asked him like, you know, how was it definitely help me with my decision, you know, and he definitely said a few words to me, just stuff that I should know and obviously said it's obviously your decision, but just let you know what it is. So Yeah. Yeah. Dre, anyway, that's saying that uh, apparently he's saying that you couldn't catch Corey Burke when you played against him, he was too fast for you. <laughs> Who said that? Somebody in the comment section said mm -hmm. that you couldn't catch Corey Burke. <laughs> no, 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 because that's a big New York, that's a big clash of New York, right? Red Bulls yeah. versus uh, we really, NYFC. We haven't really got to, got to really go against each other. I think we he had a he had a scored against my team in the what was it the conference, cup. Final, conference no conference final last year but i was injured i had a like a tear in my in my in my ankle so i was on the bench just cheering for my team and i remember he ran down and scored i remember that game and then red bulls i haven't really got to really go up against him like that but he's playing striker and i'm playing right back so you don't really see too many too many Battles with me and him still. Okay, okay, but you'd have gone up against Taxi because Taxi is a left back. You're a right back. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> what was that matchup like? Uh, it was cool. Uh, he didn't say too much. He didn't really talk that much. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I played him. I played him in, when he was in Toronto. 
and uh, yes, yeah, and I played him when he was in Minnesota. Okay, uh, have you played against Alvas Powell because he plays for Cincinnati? I played, yeah, I played him, but we both play right back, so we don't really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both of you play right back. All right, cool. All right, yeah. somewhat Lee Young is asking, what if the USA comes calling? Would you still fancy Jamaica? What is the what? This, what, what? He says, what if the USA comes calling? Would you still fancy Jamaica? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. This one, this one says, Ravel, Ravel, walk it upon them. Ravel would, would do well in New York. Team, they need a creative midfielder, in my opinion, and a lethal striker. <laughs> yeah, Ravel, Ravel is good, you know. Ravel is good. Lots of Jamaica <laughs> like him because of just his vision and his skill. Like, you know, he was at Manchester United as well. So, yeah. yeah, he's a good player. Yeah, yeah. I saw Mr. Porter. Mr. Porter said he's congratulating you on your on your first call up to the the senior team. He put up that comment here. You know, it's giving the people some inside scoop, letting them know that you have been uh, called up. I don't, I don't know, you know. <laughs> so he's dropping, he's dropping some info. Uh, <laughs> he says that, uh, Tavon, I know that your grandfather will be proud of you representing Jamaica. God sure. bless his, his yeah. soul. <laughs> yeah. And then let me put up one more of his comment. He says, he says, congratulations, Tavon Gray, on getting your first call up to the Jamaica national team. All the best to you. And I know you'll represent the country with all your heart. Enough respect. Respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, see, 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 Freddie Butler, I call him Freddie Butler. I understand me. Freddie Butler is here. <laughs> and, and he says, he says, Tavon, tell them the real history, my son. <laughs> but uh, Coach Butler, Coach Freddy Butler, right? People call him Freddy Butler, but I call him Freddy Butler because whenever he plays Domino with me, he 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 worries. You understand me, people? Um, six after six after six after six. You understand me? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a funeral setting. Six times six. You understand? Six by six. But uh, he he. Um, in in when he was in New York, he did a lot of coaching of you and your brother. And I know that there's a story about when you guys were very very young. They asked him like 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 who was going to like you know be the star, like you know. And um, yeah, you, you, have you ever heard that story? Freddie got a lot of stories, man. That's my. <laughs> yeah. he, told, he told me a lot. He told me a lot. <laughs> I have too many stories, too many stories with Freddy. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. He taught me structure for the first time. He taught me structure for the first time in my life. I used to yeah. just Yeah, hundred percent. Um I remember I remember I used to uh he coached like the older team at the, at time before he before he uh coached me and uh I used to go up and play with the older team and uh like uh I went there late one time. He was like, he started like telling me you can't do, you can't do that kind of stuff, you know. And I'm, I'm young, I'm young, you know. I'm like, I'm probably like 13, playing with like 15, 16 year olds. So I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm late, and I'm late, and I'm the youngest, you know. He he's giving it to me like, hey, you can't do that no more, blah blah. And uh, yeah, and he made me like run around the field before I could go train and stuff. So I think. In my life, I, that's the first time I hit, you know, structure coach. But the majority of the time, the coach was kind of lenient and just making me do my thing and just do what I want to do kind of vibe, you know. But when I met him, mm -mm, that all stopped. So I can say, I can say he prepared me for for what, what I'm in now, you know. After you can't do that right now in the professional setting. Or even if you want to make it pro, you just got to come with the right attitude and act right. Yeah, so, yeah, that's so, true. A lot. <laughs> yeah, well, experience with him, right? So, so you, you, like you said, they have different age group. They have like U nine. I think he's coaching the U fourteen, right? So, I, I, I had two sessions. I had one with like some U nines, and then you, you you move from one field to go over to the U fourteen, right? So the U nine session, no fault of mine, ended late. Okay. So, 
I, you know, so it, I mean, I got over to the U14 late. Yeah. So, uh, uh, of course, I mean, I'm invited. I'm not like the overall coach. So I'm there, like, looking at what is happening because I see the players warming up. I say, yo, yo, Bridget, yo, yo, you know, that, you know. In, in yeah. his very colorful language. You lay a tin of iron. You live over. We'll take this at Jamaica. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, That's what, 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 yeah, that's the way because, I mean, he's on time. He gets there. He gets to training at, um, before time to set up and all of that. So uh, I understand what you're talking about. You understand me? <laughs> yeah, man. But listen, uh, like it says, I mean, uh, um, Jamaica is happy for you, looking forward um, to seeing, you know, like what you'll bring to the team. You know, uh, I know that it's not, like I said, the fact that you kept in the USA and to me this is, is a very big move because normally players who kept in like USA U team and was a part of their U20 setup normally transition to the senior team. And even from your under 17, you, you saw that so many of those Pepe and um, Bosio, I think his name is, and yeah. um, Reno, Reno, a few others have also transitioned to the senior team. Um, especially if they, you know, when, when all the European players don't come out, a lot of those players end up playing. So yeah. you probably are still on your radar, but still yet this decision to, to, to represent Jamaica, um, I must commend you. On, on that decision and um we're wishing you all all the best all the best man what was it like though to um um get the jamaican citizenship and documentation was that a difficult process was it lengthy um or, or it, it's just appearance so you're unaware yeah um it wasn't difficult um yeah really really was pretty straightforward i just uh signed a couple of papers mom dad on it Put my name on it and sent it to the um, place I went. I went to place in the city, and uh, they just helped me out, and I got it back in like a month or so. Okay, so it didn't take long. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. And how is your brother doing? I mean, I know that he he. I mean, like Freddie would tell me that he's. I mean, he was very flashy, skillful, and all of that. But he got injured. I mean, yeah. does he still have a desire to play football, or he? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's 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 all there. He's all there now. He's all there now. So, okay. Yeah, he's. They say he's better than me. So they say. <laughs> what do you say? Me, of course, I say no, no chance. But that's what majority <laughs> people say he's better than me. I don't, I don't know why. I think it's because he he played forward and I I play defense. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, other than right back and center back, what other position can you play? I think they're checking out your versatility. Left back, center back, or right back. I think that's pretty solid. Okay, so you can play right across the back four. Yeah. Okay. And do you prefer playing in a back four or a back three or a back five or it doesn't matter? Um, for me, I like to be isolated. So I would say... Right, I would say four is four is good for me. For me, I feel like you, if you play five, that means you have two tremendous transition fullbacks. If you're playing five in the back, that's what I would think. Your fullback is gonna go up and down, and then your three center backs can manage. Um, and then four in the back, I think everyone is pretty good alone by themselves. You know, for me, four in the back is good playing right back or center back. I can manage a striker. Or I could manage the winger. For me, I think four in the back and I'm playing right back. It's very hard to beat me on the sideline. So yeah. Okay. Alex Alexia Walker says, May God bless your journey, Tavon. Keep driving to the top. Thank you. All right. Man. All right. Um, before the game, he's from Trinidad. Um, and he says does he have anyone with Trini roots on his team or in the academy? No. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Any any other Jamaican there in the academy? Ah, let academy setup. Let me just ask that, get that in. That that you are aware of. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. All right. So, so the other thing, New York City FC is also connected to Manchester City. Yeah, they um they have a few affiliates. They have a it's called City Football City Football Group. So, they have a few teams like uh, Girona in La Liga. They connected to that team. Connected to Man City. Uh, they're connected to a team in Japan. Um, oh. And they're connected to a team, I believe, in Australia. And uh, New York City, obviously. Oh, so City is connected to those teams. So does that mean that players can move from those? Because I've not seen anyone like from New York City FC move to to, um, to, 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 to City per se. No, no one can make that jump. I think that's a big jump. I mean, actually, someone has made that jump. Uh, you know, Jack Harrison? I don't know if you know him, but he played in like 2016, I think. He played he played for New York City, and he made that jump. He plays for Leeds now, I believe. Oh, yeah, Jack Harrison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He plays for Leeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah so he, he did that. Um, uh, who else? There was another player, Mix Disco, 2015. He went from NYCFC to City. I'm not sure where he's at now. But um, we had another player, Tati Castellanos. Our striker, where we won, that we won with, he won the Golden Boot for that year. Um, his name is Val- Valentin Castellanos. Um, he uh, he went to Girona in La Liga, and then uh, he went on loan for my team, and then he uh, went to Lazio. He's on Lazio now in, in Italy. So yeah, so okay. So, so I mean, which which one of the, which one of the the, the the European nations you'd love to uh, probably play? Um, in one of the one um sometime in the future you know uh, i got aspirations to play play europe europe period i think england france germany i think those are the top ones for sure to go to okay all right um christopher wright says mannings um ask him how good is christian mcfarlane that's my wife little cousin he was in england u17 earlier this year he can play for the u.s and also jamaica also England, just like me. <laughs> oh, you can play for England as well? Yeah. Okay, he's asking how good is he, Christian McFarlane? Uh, he's good. He's very good. He's in the he's in the academy at New York City or in the senior yeah. team? He plays. He, he, hasn't made, I don't, he hasn't made his debut yet with the senior team, but he trains with us. He trains okay. with us often, often. He's a good oh, player. Yeah. Very good player. For his age, he's miles above his, his age group. Miles above. Okay. Okay. Maybe you can play U twenties for Jamaica. <laughs> maybe. Maybe when he sees you playing and winning some games, he will say, "Hey, maybe I need to go over there to Jamaica and represent Jamaica." Christian McFarlane. But I know you had a game yesterday. You won the game, and um, I know you probably you know need to spend some time with your family because you know you have big international call up coming up. I'm, I'm, I mean, are you looking forward? To, to 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 playing and learning. I mean, what are some of the things you hope to experience playing like international football at the senior level? Uh I just say one thing. I miss playing with like the I wanna say this, I feel like iron type and sharpens iron. So I miss playing with like the best per se. I miss that 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 group. Like I'm I'm used to playing for USA and everybody from the different states come and you make the best team obviously uh i just say i miss that little i miss that feeling of just going somewhere and playing with the best of the best i feel like that's the only way to get better so yeah yeah that's it uh, when they play with good players you get yeah. art you know you get better for sure that, yeah they're asking you how many languages you speak <laughs> uh english and papa <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, but but how? I mean, I always hear people talk about playing for new, being in, new, being from New York and play playing for New York teams, right? I mean, yeah. what has that been for you? Our foot uh, with soccer, it's a little bit different, you know. People don't really because it don't have such a big following like the NBA yeah. or the NFL or the baseball. I mean, but what is it like playing in New York, being from New York? Oh, uh, like I said, there's no. I feel like it doesn't get better than that. That's the, that's the top of the top feeling for sure. Um, I feel like majority players only get to experience this, 
really at the end of their careers where they just want to go somewhere comfortable and play for their hometown team and try to win something. But I'm experiencing it now. So uh, I think it's an amazing feeling. Like I said, my whole family comes to the games and stuff like that. So I think it's, it's an amazing feeling for sure. All right. Earlier, someone was asking to give your thoughts on Jamaica high school football. I don't know how you'd know because I figure that you have not been, if you come to Jamaica in December, that means that you probably don't know anything about high school football. But uh, um, I'm not, I heard about the kid, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Whisper. Uh, yeah, Whisper, that's his name. I heard about him and I've seen a few videos of him. That's really all they like, young talent. I really know. I don't really follow the high school soccer down there. But like, there's a lot of uh, Jamaicans like up here in Bronx and stuff like that, and they always talk about how they played down there and they were nice and stuff like that. So I, I know a little bit of thing or two about the people up here, but as of right now, I don't know who's playing down there right now. Yeah, right. All right, awesome. Listen, I mean, I mean, I, I don't have any more questions. Let me see, check because sometimes they'll send them in by text, but I don't have any more questions. Um. You know, I don't see any more questions right here. There was a call coming in. Uh, let me see who was calling. Um, yeah, but listen, we'll take, uh, we're heading up to the hour mark and, and, and Tavon needs to go. So um, so that's, that's 50 minutes. So we have 10 minutes of the interview. So if you have a question, you have limited time, you can call in right now and then we will take, you can ask, um, Tavon, whatever question you have, so that he can have a little bit of interaction with you, and then we will close out the show. So if you have a question, you can call in, you can ask, and he will respond quickly. All right, or if you want to you know, say something to him, you can go ahead um, right now. All right. Oh, they're asking if you have a UK passport. What? No. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> no, he has a Jamaican passport. <laughs> yeah. Jamaican passport. Yeah, oh, you can come with this though. <laughs> All right, so we have a call. Let's let's hear from this caller, Tavon. All right. Uh Arden, welcome to the show. Good evening. Go ahead. Yeah, man. Yes, man, man. Even. Even Kavan. Yeah, um, <laughs> I want to know. Just one question I want to ask. One question I want to ask. So have you been called up um to represent Jamaica as yet? What did, I didn't hear him. What did he say? He didn't hear your audience. No, I'm asking if he if he has been called up for Jamaica. Yeah. Ardian? Hello? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you hear the question? Yes, yeah, so I answered the question. Yeah. He said yeah. Okay, my phone was tripping out. Okay, all right. Congratulations, man. All the best. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right, all right Arden. So there's a fascination with the Jamaican fans to find out who is in the squad and who is not. You understand me? <laughs> there's this always ongoing discussion. I think he answered that. He says his father is from Gregory Park and his mother is from St. Elizabeth. Yeah. Right. I think that is what. Um, but he did answer that question. All right. Um, so if you have any other question, then go ahead. We have time for one more and then we will we will close out the show. All right. We have a man from Philadelphia who supports, I think, the Philadelphia Union. Uh, um, Piney, you have, go ahead with your question because we have a next call coming on. No, no, you can't. <laughs> no, you can go ahead and ask the baller your call, your question. Sorry, you're calling. Ah, oh, respect. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 man. He starts every game. All right, then. So, you know, I will be tuning in to see all the programs from our moving forward. 
So let me ask you a question. I know you are of Jamaica and you were born in the United States or something like that. Yeah, I was born in the Bronx. Born in the Bronx. Yeah. Born in the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah. He said something about white plains food. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's not, find, find your son like you're in a tunnel. <laughs> He's not hearing you clearly. <laughs> Go ahead, no. You're gone. He's gone. So, like he was in a tunnel, so we're not hearing <laughs> I think he was in. Oh, he's calling back. All right. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead now. Yeah, yeah, man. Sorry about that. They talk to the Bluetooth speaker and they way around this one the day in the tunnel. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, um, <laughs> yes, back to this. Uh, um, say, man. So, um, let me just think. But, yeah, man. Daddy right. Get the eyes that and get the, the, the good thing, yeah, man. Keep the body strong. I think. Because we want to see her run some ball. Serious ball for Jamaica, you know? Represent yes. the police. But well, let me ask you a question. This is my question I want to ask. MLS has been growing and it's, go, grow, it's going great. So why represent our national team instead of try for the US national team? You said why? Yeah, yeah. Um, why Jamaica over USA? Jamaica giving me an opportunity. I don't, when you, you said what, Jamaica give you a better opportunity than if you had, if you had the opportunity to play for the USA? He played for the USA at under 17 though. No, no, that's not what I said. I said Jamaica is giving me the opportunity. So, so Jamaica called him up? Yeah. So she, so, okay, so, yeah. Okay, so you said Jamaica called you, but USA did not call you after your, you, your, your after you finish your, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't right? say that. I didn't say. I didn't say, no, I didn't didn't say, say that. Didn't and say you didn't. That. You didn't ask me that. You asked me a total different oh. question. You had to ask me one question at a time. <laughs> yeah. You, you're saying what? You're, you're giving an answer to a question. That you didn't yeah, tell, ask. If I tell me, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah, you're the general. But I'm, I'm hearing you. I treat. A tree, a tree, you yeah, a tree, you may have America when trying to the American football. Why them is a coach right now? Go go be great and do your thing. Don't even follow me, man. I'm just trying to drag you. You hear me? And I'm not gonna drag you. I respect what you're doing and I want you to continue doing what you're doing. I live in Philadelphia, so if you ever come to Philadelphia, holla at me, man. All right, and be great. Just be great, man. I want you to be great. You hear me, you Cool, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. I, I, all right, go down, man. Mess up. We're gonna take. Yeah, man. Because the cell phone is man, it's great. Let me go see if I can find somebody to do this. To put that thing on the belly and all. People, I don't appreciate what you are doing. When you see me come all up, see if you like it. You try to be great and be one and represent it. And you all don't take the time to like the video. I mean, we got two, oh, close to two hundred people over here and forty-three people like the video. Come on, man. You get y'all getting good content over here. Come over here, like, share, and subscribe, and do it with pride the same way we do it with pride. I'm asking y'all. You, we cannot grow the algorithm if y'all don't appreciate what we do. And just, just, just by touching that like button and drop a comment and share and tell your friends, that's all we're asking for. We are not asking for God your boss. money. God has boss. God has boss. The time. The time. Help us, bro. <laughs> help us to grow, please. God that's all I'm asking. God has boss. The time. never liked the video. Just step back out now and go like it before this, the next call I come on and the kid answer the question. Thank you very much. Run up uh, some likes on the video. Fresh got the people in the comments. Pick up the uh, Fresh uh, mess, up, mess up God as well. This call was recorded for quality. This <laughs> 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 call, but no, I don't think that's it. <laughs> uh, let's, let's get this one. <laughs> and there you go. Because he was calling, and then this is the final call, and then we'll close our trip. Yeah, man, it's man. Yeah, man. Do I welcome? Yeah, man, it's man. To the show. Yeah, man. Yeah, t yeah, Teva. Uh, first of all, tell Teva, welcome to the forum. So, so why, what, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why are you telling me you're calling? I said, call in to talk to the, the guests. You are now calling to yeah. tell me to tell him he's hearing you. No, 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 no. 
Sorry, sorry, I didn't know that he was still on. Sorry, I, I'm not watching the stream. Oh, right now. oh, oh, okay. right. yeah, but he's still on. He's okay. listening to you. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome, welcome to, welcome home. I should say. I've been following you. I know you were in Jamaica, and I, I go. I have family not too far from you in in, in, Bronx, in the Bronx. So, good to see you in the fold, and hopefully it's a it's a good experience. And uh, I know been watching you for a couple of years, and I'm a fan of yours. So I know you do good things, and looking forward to it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, and um, that, that's all I want to say, uh, man. Is, man. Pick up the ball on this. Go on. <laughs> yeah, man. All right, do it. All right. Blessings. Yeah, man. Thanks for calling. All right. Cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, Tevin, I oh, won't oh, keep along. So, next generation mixes. Are you looking forward to playing against Messi? But you did answer that already. That those are the kind of matches that you want. <laughs> of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, all right. Anything you want to say as we close, you know, um, to the Jamaican fans? Yeah, I mean, you have a lot of fans. You have 134 people now watching you. Um, um, and many more will watch the video. And, and I know a lot of them are happy. I will say just where I'm at over the years, I think for a very, very long time, if I go back to even Shorty Malcolm, Frank Sinclair, it's kind of funny that I feel like we have always had problems at right back in Jamaica's football. I don't know. I just feel like it has been an ongoing issue because we had like Demar Phillips, Ricardo Gardner. We have had so many good left-sided players, but I feel like at right back, like we went from Fabian Davis, Charlton Malcolm, Dean Sewell. I mean, um, yeah, I feel like we have always had, you know, I don't know if there's something, you know, we need to, we need to take the right side of our deep, the right back to out by boss to give that side a, a, a <laughs> a mineral bot, but something seems to be wrong over that side over the years. So we, we're hoping that you can you can come in and with your value, your 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 strengths, and and really make a difference in that position. But I mean, I give you uh, some minutes so you can talk to all the Jamaicans home and abroad um, who are listening to you right now. Um, if you had any message to them that next young footballer in the States that listening to this right now who have Jamaican connection, or if you're listening, um, you know, maybe somebody in Jamaica, a young footballer listening to you right now, what would be your words of encouragement to them and your word of encouragement to the fans? Um, for me personally, uh, I'm gonna just do my best, uh, my best that I can do, you know, try to help the team. Uh, in whatever way I can, and uh, that was for me. And uh, for anybody watching who has aspirations to become a footballer or a professional soccer player, uh, follow your dreams. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do nothing because anything is possible once you put your mind to it. And yeah, that's it. Have fun with it too. Have fun. Don't yeah. make no sense if you're not having fun. All right. So, what is your tell them what is like, like your mantra, your motto, that, that thing that drives you? That, that phrase, that quote, you know, that word that, you know, this is what I used to keep me going and believing in my dreams and pursuing these things. Oh, uh, for me, for me, I'm pretty, like, self-driven. So I say I'm just confident. Um, I don't know if it's because I had a twin. I always had somebody to go against uh, my whole life. There was never, like, a dull moment where I have nobody to play with or nothing like that. Anytime I felt like couldn't do something, I just tried to, to do it against him before I did it against anybody else. So, yeah. practice I had before you got brought. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Well, so you want to in Jamaica at the end of the interview, you understand me? You know what I'm saying? All right, listen, lots of big up, man. Thank you so, so much for doing this. No, you had the game and then you had, um, you had, um, you know, you know, you don't know, recovery today. Sure. And you know, and you did this. I really, really appreciate you coming on. And I know, you know, Jamaica looking forward to seeing you done in the, the national colors and um, believing that you do well. And uh, yeah, I know you have the support of the fan base, just make a difference, you know, uh, help to bring us further than we have been as a footballing nation. And, and as much as we can do as fans and just people of Jamaica to support you, we will do that. And um, I, I know that you'll have a lot of them. Um, what, what's your IG? Are you you're not on those things? Because I know many of them want to make sure they come over on your IG and start 
you know, follow and see what's going on. So you want to, you want to give your IG handle? Are you afraid of the Jamaicans coming over the IG? Because some people don't want too much of the Jamaicans. No, a no, problem no. them sometimes and them nothing. You know? <laughs> no, no, no. Nothing, nothing I can't handle. Uh, yeah, they can have it. Uh, it's Tavon underscore dot four. E-V-O-N. No, T-A-Y-V-O-N. Yeah, underscore, underscore dot four. The number four? Yeah, number four. Dot that four yeah that's it that's it all right there you go so that's 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 the handle if you want to follow him people um tavon oh i miss out the underscore yeah t-a-y-v-o-n tavon underscore mm-hmm. dot four yeah. well i think that's it now there you go oh oh geez what is going on with me t-a-y-v-o-n underscore dot four i think that is it right so you can go and check it out yeah. right now and um yeah oh see it see it already bam jason gone over there a long time <laughs> <laughs> all right so just just full up the instagram yeah all 135 you go over instagram right and just bam 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 i just you know Increase the following over there. You understand me right away. And also, um, uh, Dre Anyweather on his Instagram having live giveaways over there. So if you want tickets to the game, go and follow him right over there right now. Get a ticket for the game. All right. So listen, bless up yourself, Tavon. I mean, nice dog in the background. Look, almost look like my dog. I said, hold well, on there. I start look behind me. I said, hold well, on there. my dog reached the shot. Then I realized that it's actually behind you and not behind me. Yeah. Oh, you see my dog? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> almost like mine. That looked uh, like a, a German Shepherd mixed with something. No, nah, it's just German Shepherd. German Shepherd. So, I, uh, yeah, yeah. I uh, my, Mine have a little bit of... Um, um mixture but, but but german shepherd predominantly mixed with something yeah man but listen thanks again to you thanks to your, your parents and everyone for all that they have done and for making yourself available to sit and talk with us today listen enjoy the rest of your day and all the best and looking forward to seeing you in jamaica all right yeah. and you know we will link up you understand sure. me sure. yeah man all right then take care thank you so much you. <laughs> oh the people saying that dog must be outdoors you know they said what? It said dogs must be outdoors. <laughs> not, not, not. Dog, dog up here and dog in Jamaica is two different kind of dogs. Right? <laughs> you say, you say, your dog or furry dog are two different kind of dogs. <laughs> dog up here have, have tummy ache. Dog, uh, dog in Jamaica don't have tummy ache. <laughs> dog in Jamaica All survive right. on their own. Treat up people, people. I don't chew it up. Like you know that Jamaica. A Jamaican dog, we never hear a Jamaican dog sick yet. Exactly. Dog. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No, is that them sick? They must re- do them recover by themselves. No, no vet from here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no vet <from> here. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then blessings, but take care. Enjoy the rest of the evening, Tavon. Ah, blessings. Yeah. All right. So there you have it, people. Tavon Gray. Um, just confirmed. I have it, Mr. Porter, having said it, that he has been um called up to the 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 national league all right um for the nation league game right so big up to the young baller hoping that he can make uh, a serious serious impression as he he comes to represent the black the green and the gold all right and um again like he says if you believe your work hard nothing is impossible keep on believing keep on dreaming right the opportunity presented himself and with presented itself and without hesitation um this young man who was captain the usa team he was like leading to be the captain of the under 20 team but then the pandemic came um one mls at a young age at 19 he he, he basically has won um most things in professional football in the usa right um he's 21 now um, good young age, still have a lot to grow, plays. He can play anywhere across the back four. All right. So that's very good to see. And um, to all the persons who are part of the process from the, his coaches from early age, then big up.
to them. And what I do know is that, you know, that um, when Freddie Butler had him very young, um, if we were doing these camps like they're having now, because they're having more of these camps in North America, um, I think one is coming up at the end of September. If those camps were being done, he would have been captured and probably would have been a, of the part of the Jamaican setup. But sometimes life has to be that way because having played for the US, you see what happened. Um, you know, he was able to captain the USA team. Um, so sometimes one thing may not work for you, but it opens up a door somewhere else. So the person is asking about Ian Frey. I think he's, he's out injured. Right, Damani Jose is out in Santa Clara, and he's also playing in in the collegiate system over there, and he's doing well as well. Um, so check that, check him out, Damani Jose. We interviewed him, right? Big up to his dad, Mike Jose. So there's a lot of persons, a lot of Jamaicans out there that we don't know, we are not following, but they are making moves and making ways. And I will say to them, you may not be called up today, but don't stop working don't stop committing right don't don't stop fighting don't stop believing all right keep on working and believing in the process and if you keep on doing that then trust me you will you will make it you will make it you may not be called up today i say to all young players you may not be called up today but don't stop working hard on your game and on your craft tomorrow we're going to have an I Am Sure Sports, the Adidas agent assigned to Jamaica, a um, man born in Jamaica, went to Woolmer's Boys School. He's an attorney um, doing a great job in terms of helping to hold the, the, the Adidas and the Jamaica deal and doing a lot of work where that is concerned. He has some uh, just some brilliant ideas about the transformation um, of just Jamaica's football in terms of sponsorship and its global impact Jamaica as a nation has. And I don't think we understand the value of brand Jamaica. I don't think we have our government and our leaders fully understand the global brand that Jamaica is because we have yet as a nation to tap into that brand and to make it profitable for the nation. I believe if we as a nation, through our leaders, can invest, let me say it again, can invest in, can invest in uh, our sporting industry, our track and field, our netball, our cricket, watch this, our football, with proper infrastructure and proper systems for development, then Jamaica, it is one of those industries, the sporting industry is one of those industries that I believe can move us out of this wealth deficit that we are in to, to, to great wealth, not just for the upper echelon of society, but that the, 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 the inner cities, the rural communities, because sometimes when we talk about Jamaica, we speak about inner city communities failing to realize that there are some places that are not in a city, but they are in deep rural areas that lack some of the basic, basic, basic things for living a good life, a decent life. Right? So please, please, leaders of our country, yeah, I know that tourism is making money now, but I put it to you that with our global brand and our success in sports, I don't think just in terms of global reach, tourism has been as successful as our athletes over sporting disciplines over the years. You can go to boxing. I can yeah, I can talk about Ali Atkinson, even individual sports, just some of the things. You think think about the Mike McCollum and Trimple Clock. You when you go through the names, Jamaica has failed to capitalize on the human capital in our sport, and I would say in our entertainment. In our entertainment. 
see I, I, I see people over the world who who are owning reggae music but even with that it can't sound like what happens you see even the chris brown comes to jamaica and he talks about listen the 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 the, the, the party the 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 the, the, the atmosphere in Jamaica entertainment is, is, is like no other anywhere. This is a man who has performed a no before bigger audiences. All right. So you need to check that. All right. So do this interview tomorrow. There's a, a gentleman uh, on ESPN called First State. I'm going for him tomorrow. Money's man will be challenging Stephen A. Smith. Book it. I'm going to I'm going to send him to school about his rebuttal to Noah Niles. Lies. Lies. Yeah. I'm going I'm going to he's going to say, hey, you know he's uh, huh. you, he didn't even get the name right. Well, you didn't get your facts right, Stephen A. Smith. You are wrong. And tomorrow on Super Friday, coming for you. Watch out. I am management. This has been I Am Sure Sports. As usual, before you go, hit the like button, subscribe, and share this. All right? Hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Have a great evening. Cavaliers 2, AC Porta, Spain 1. Big up again to the Cavaliers Young Guns. As usual, when it comes to the end of the show, we say we are over and we are O-U-T out of here. Yo, what's up, my dog? SK New Artist. The body you there. Sniper King I represent for I Am Sure Sports. You get to me, I say? When you want the latest news and sports and updates and all of that, check out I Am Sure Sports. You know the thing goes in. Member, cover the whole island. Member, Kingston, Westmoreland, Galchester, Ocherius, Galtigo Bay. Everywhere. I Am Sure Sports. Check it out for the latest news and latest updates. Sniper King I represent. Where them feel like? Ha! Yeah, some are known for the food from young from with their knee height. I am sure sports. Yeah, dog.